Oh, it's just connecting. There we go. Yali Shabnam. Yali how are you? Shukar, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you on Instagram. Nice to see you. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so honored. Yes, Thank I saw you. that on a Facebook and everywhere. I think you were more excited than me. Which is not a good sign. I should be more excited than you because you are joining us. No, no, I'm so honored. You're so famous. That's so. Oh, jeez, no, no. You know what? Like, don't mention that to anyone. They will. They'll call police. You'll never know people here. <laughs> okay, you know, I'm just sending a message to Mizali to you know will join her after 20 minutes. For sure. Yeah, uh, I think there was a connection problem probably. Like in Pakistan. So, uh, like, you welcome to like in coffee with Jaw. This is the Instagram version, and I have your cup with me. It's a brand name, Coffee with Jalal Cup. I have one for you when you come to Calgary. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, I have my sponsor's name as well, which I mentioned after. Lovely. So, so first of all, who is Shabnam Jessa? So, who is Shabnam Jessa? Shabnam Jessa is a stay-at-home mom. Mm-hmm. I've been married for 23 years. Oh, wow. My son is okay been with my husband for 25 years altogether. Uh-huh. Two grown kids that have just come back from university. Oh, okay. And um, I love to cook. Uh-huh. So do you do kind of the professionally or just... Uh... No, just for fun. You know, um, my husband is in the restaurant industry, so we're just surrounded by food all the oh. time. And so, and we like to cook nice food that's mm-hmm. flavorful, but... For me, because I'm busy, I'm a mom, I don't like to spend too much time cooking. And so I have this repertoire of all of these yummy, amazing, quick recipes. Mm -hmm. But I thought that maybe other people might might want uh, me to share that Mm -hmm. through this pandemic, um, the crisis. People are at home with their kids and just need something fast to make for their family that's yummy. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, what's the restaurant name, if it's possible? My husband is the president of Earl's Restaurants. Oh, Earl's Restaurant. Yes. Uh, so, I'm expecting some gift certificates. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. There we go. Yeah, I will exchange with my coffee mug. Uh, That's one. right. That's right. So, you used to be in Calgary, you know, like when I saw to you yesterday. Yes, many years ago. So, I came to Canada, to Calgary, when I was five in 1975. From? From Zambia. Zambia. Oh, okay. But, but my parents are from um, Mwanza. Okay, okay. And so, and then when Mo and I got married in 1996, mm-hmm. uh, we moved to Vancouver. Oh, okay. Because he's so also they, from Calgary too. Yeah, yeah. So you have some friends in Calgary then? Lots of friends and still family. Oh, nice, nice. Very nice. Very nice. You know, so I, you know I, really, I really miss Calgary. I yes, miss, sir? Miss, Why is that? I miss the friendly people. I miss um, how open and loving everybody is. Um, I miss the sunshine. Uh-huh. I ask my husband yeah. all the time, can we no. move back? And he says, no, we, our home is here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. Like, you know, like in Vancouver, you don't get that much sunshine. Even in summertime, it's all cloudy all the time, isn't it? Eh? Wow. So, so you know about about your cooking show. Tell us something about it. So, the reason I started the cooking show is because even though I'm at home with my family, as I'm sure most people are, there's still that sense of loneliness that I think people were feeling. I know I was feeling that, and so mm-hmm. I kind of thought, what is something that I can do to get dressed every day? Because mm-hmm. most of us are just wearing our jogging pants every day. So I thought, why don't I get dressed? Why don't I just start this little cooking show, um, just show some quick, easy recipes for my friends. Um, hopefully, they'll just find it fun and interesting. It's it's a very lighthearted show. I don't take myself seriously at all. Okay. And, um, and I just wanted to show people that you don't need to be a professional to be able to cook. It shouldn't be something scary. That's right, yeah. Because it's fun. It's an art. It's fun. That's right. Yeah. You have to enjoy while you're cooking, so then you can enjoy, you know, after it's cooked as well. That's so, right. You know, and I think if you cook with like a happiness in your heart, yes, then that happiness goes into the food. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well said. So you know, like you know, personally, do you like the Western food or you like a more spicy Indian food or Pakistani food? I love all kinds of food. I really love Indian food, but um, I'm not very good at making it. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. I understand. Experts like my mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if I, uh, because I'm mean, these days, you know, I, uh, thanks to Mois Lalji, so he, you know, basically shared one of your video. 
on the Entertainment Canada page, and that's what I've uh, like you know, found it about you. So, like, you do every week, every two weeks. Like, you know, what's your schedule about it? Well, so basically, at first when I started, I thought, well, I have to cook every day for my family anyway. So why don't yeah. I just do the show and show recipes? But it's actually a lot of work um, to do it because filming it, the lighting, making sure things are prepped. So I'm thinking I might take it down to maybe just three days a week. Okay. In the meantime, just post pictures of the food that I cook. Uh -huh. So you know, this is a quarantine time, like you know, most of us are home. So I think this is the right time to start something where they can learn something new, you think? That's right. I think so. I think so. I think it's a, it's a good place to share knowledge. It's a really good time to learn. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think, uh, I mean, like, like thanks to social media, it's all free. You can do whatever you want on it. No, there is no one to stop you. And I think absolutely, you can use and you can use this this platform, you know, as a positive. That's right, for good, for doing yeah. good. And also, I think too to reach lots of people. Um, mm. So that the free platform is really nice because it everybody has access to it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So you like like you know, so last for. Uh, if I compare to Alberta to BC, so you have more cases in BC for like now because of the coronavirus cases. So what you guys do right now, like if I ask you the Vancouver situation, how is it? Well, right now it seems that we're flattening the curve. Um, okay. But the concern is, is that this Easter long weekend, it's a really yeah. sunny, it's a beautiful weekend this weekend. And so um, they've closed the parks and the beaches down in hopes that people will um, still be physically yeah, yeah. distancing. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, though, the ferries were super busy yesterday and they're anticipating they will still be busy this weekend. They're trying to get people not to travel to the island or to Whistler, mm -hmm. trying to get people to still stay home. Right. Um, yeah, we still have to be safe, even though BC yeah. is yeah. somehow managed to flatten the curve. Yeah, yeah, you know, even, like, even yesterday, Premier of Alberta, Jason Kenney, he said, like, because of the long weekend, like, the weather will be nice. And I think there was a statement from the BC government as well, do not travel to BC or do not travel to Alberta. Because on the, on, on, on the long weekend, a lot of people go, like, you know, back and forth to BC and Alberta. I think... It's good for all of us, you know. Stay home, safe life. That's what they're saying. And uh, you don't, you don't know if you like, you know, if you might have it. You might be carrying a virus. God knows. So, you know, hopefully, right. uh, everyone will stay safe and healthy. This, uh, especially for the next few months, in the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know what? So like, is there any new recipes you could, so you're gonna share with us? Yes. Yeah, so I have a couple of favorite recipes that I make all the time that are super okay. easy. Um, and I like to credit the chefs that I get these recipes from because yes. I'm not a chef. I don't create any of these recipes. So yeah, one yeah. recipe I, I got from a show on Netflix called Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat. Okay. And uh, Sami Nusrat is a famous chef in America. And so um, what you do is you buy a whole chicken. Mm -hmm. You uh, take two cups of buttermilk, mm -hmm. four tablespoons of fine sea salt or two tablespoons of regular salt whisk it together quickly, throw it all into a Ziploc bag, zip it up, and let it marinate overnight. And then you bake it the next day at 425 degrees for 20 minutes, and then for 40 minutes at 400 degrees. And this chicken is so yummy. Yeah. You just, like, it's delicious. The skin is crispy. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful, easy chicken that anybody can make. Oh, and you know, that's pretty quick, yeah. Like, you, like, you are done in three minutes. Exactly. exactly. You know, who doesn't love that? that of course, you know, because we are so busy these days anyways, you know. And you know, what's the next one? Uh, so, and I was going to say that even though we're all home with COVID, for some reason, we seem to still be filling our time. Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that we still are really busy at home. Yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. So, you know, uh, like, you know, because I've seen those shows, like, you know, Top Chef, uh, like, Canada, Master Chef Canada. Do you follow those? You know, um, I try not to, actually, funny enough, I try not to because I find it quite intimidating. Okay. You know, they're, they're professionals, they know how to chop everything nicely. My yes, husband is a chef, he yes. knows how to chop everything nicely. I don't. I just kind of, however, big yeah, 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 yeah. is. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I find that it just is a little bit intimidating. So I don't really watch them. <laughs> okay, that's right. So, you know, uh, so yeah, what are your hobbies? What do you do when you are, like, when you're freaking? What, like, what else do you do besides cooking? 
So besides cooking, I really uh, enjoy meditating. So I, I do a lot of, not a lot of, but I do meditate every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to, especially because we have nice yeah. weather here before COVID. Yeah. I would go for a walk every day. Mm -hmm. um, I really enjoy cooking. So, you know. Any, any I interest in music or sports? Yeah, so I'm not very sporty, unfortunately, but mm -hmm. I love listening to music. And when I'm cooking, yeah. I especially like to listen to bhajans, bhajans? And, oh, okay. and hinans, too. When yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. What about Salim Suleiman, the one like, like you know, all of us from our community, like, like, you know, they follow them. What about them? They're amazing. They're yeah. amazing. And they set such a good example for people in our community. Yes. And and they're just amazing artists. We're so blessed that they're part of our community. Yeah, isn't it something? Because I remember, you know, when they came, it was a first show, like, I think it was a five, uh, five years ago when they came first time. And I think since then, we see a lot of smiley artists from all over the world now, even like India, Pakistan, Africa, Afghanistan, or like, you know, Tajikistan, everywhere. We see a lot of people. Do you remember Jubilee Mubarak's song in the Padaro Mola? Yes. And the, and the person who wrote that song, Kamal Haji, he'll be my next guest after you. So hopefully you can watch him as well. I will absolutely stay for the entire show. I'm so excited to hear what he and Mirza Bai have to say. Okay, sounds good. And you know, last message you want to share from your side and about I, coronavirus. I do, I do. You know what? Um, in Canada, 800,000 mm. restaurant workers have been laid off. Yes. And in comparison to 5,000, say, for example, 5,000 workers at uh, Air Canada. So yes. on Wednesday is a national takeout challenge okay. that um, is part of the restaurant initiative. And so everybody, please, if you can, go and support your local restaurant, any restaurant that's your favorite, and order some takeout and help people to stay employed. Oh, so it's a, it's a, it's a special, day go, like special day for that? Like just that's right. It'll, oh, okay. it'll start Wednesday and it'll be every Wednesday after that. Oh, that's very really nice. I think, you know, we should, like, I think, you know, we need more days like that for everyone. For all right. the industry we can help. So thank you so much, Shabun Gesa. And thank all you. the best to you. Hope to see you in thank Calgary. You. And if you come to Calgary, please let us know so you like, you know, so then I can get you in our studio. Right Absolutely. Here. And we're going to go to Earl's for dinner. Done. I'll bring your cup with me that time. Absolutely. Love it. Thank you so Thank much you for so having much. me on. All the best. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Yali Madad. Yali Madad.